Today we are in Bangkok, but we're actually taking a sleeper train from Bangkok over to Chiang Mai. We booked this with bookaway.com and it's crazy because we've traveled Thailand for like over three months now and we've never taken a sleeper train or any train, no. I don't think. <laughs> so this is our first Thai railway experience. We're actually in the second class, which is also AC, which is gonna be good because otherwise we're gonna be sweating. Um, but I'm excited for this. We actually had to print the tickets. Have we got the tickets somewhere? Here are the tickets. Um, so you have to print them off. We booked on Bookaway and they were like, you gotta print them off or you might not be allowed on. So we've got these. So I'm on the top bunk and I think Joel's on the bottom, but we'll see if we switch those around. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanna be on the bottom. I think there might be more room there but i'm quite excited apparently like they like changed the beds or something yeah i think maybe it starts off as a normal train and then they switch it into beds i'm not sure so i'm excited to find out so this is like a day sleeper train because we actually start the journey at 2 30 p.m in the afternoon and we get in at 4 a.m but we booked a hotel in chiang mai near the train station so it should be all right but it was the cheapest ticket i think it was only like 21 pounds so there you go. So we're not actually sure if there's food or not on the train. Some places said it, there was, but I've got this bag of snacks anyway from 7-Eleven. Let's go. Oh, I can't get out. Sorry. The bag's too big. We have just arrived at the airport and Mr. Speedy Pan's back there in the taxi. Well, I mean, we've been here really quick. We've got to try, try and find where we can, I don't know, show our ticket or, uh, I don't know. Do you know where we are? I feel so sick. It was a bit of a crazy ride, wasn't it? I come to ah. San Minis. Oh, okay. Walking? Yeah, yeah. Walking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So I just showed the Thai guy this uh, train ticket apparently this is not quite the right station so we've got to walk a little way to the train station which apparently is up there like I don't know it looks like a more futuristic train station rather than this little thing we might have to walk along the road though yeah he did say walk along the road so hopefully we survive oh, my legs aren't long enough. it's like a bit of an adventure going on this train <laughs> good work so now we're walking down the highway and hopefully we won't get hit. When we turned up, I was like, this is like a small little village railway station. Yeah, not like a big Bangkok train station. So I was a bit like, hmm, but apparently not the right place. So that's good. I think we are in the right place now. This is Dong Muang Station. There you go. Escalators, this looks like a much bigger station. So because he was driving so fast and it, we had loads of time, even though we walked 10 minutes, so we've got to wait for like an hour and then hopefully the train will turn up. I'm excited to see what the train's like, what the conditions are like and the actual sleeper beds as well. It's gonna be quite cool. Right, let's try and find where we can get our tickets or, you know, show our tickets to make sure we are in the right place. Okay. And platform number six. Number six? Number six? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Go up. To go up? Yeah, go up, yeah. Okay. This is an amen. Okay. okay. Sit allow here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Little on So we think our train has just been called, although it's quite hard because of the Thai language, obviously. We're gonna go upstairs to level six, apparently, and check it out. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get the train. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Nice. I don't know if this is accurate, but we booked our tickets like a week or more in advance because uh, like the days closer had sold out. So we've actually waited in Bangkok a few more days to actually take this train. So if you are looking to take the sleeper train, maybe book in advance. Before we jump on the train, I need to talk to you about the partners of today's video, and that is SafeTubing. They're gonna keep you safe whilst you're traveling. Amelia and I are always traveling to different countries and booking spontaneous flights. And thanks to our Novan insurance with Safety Ring, this allows us to keep safe whilst doing so. Insurance is essential if you're traveling. If you've traveled at all before, you know that so much can go wrong from lost luggage to travel delays. So you need to make sure you are protected. The Novan insurance has great features, which covers any mishaps when traveling with coverage for lost luggage, 
travel delays, natural disasters, and personal liability. So you have a stress-free trip knowing you're covered. One of my favorite things I love about Safety Ring is the flexibility that they give you when it comes to dates and locations. They don't require you to put certain countries or exact dates, allowing you to be flexible and change plans as you travel. And for us, like that is so important. Getting yourself insurance is super easy with automatic monthly payments, allowing you to put a start date and an end date. On your next trip, make sure you get yourself covered with a reputable company like Safe Doing, and you will be protected if something happens to go wrong. Click the link in the description to get yourself covered with Safe Doing. Now, let's go back to the train. So we've just begun our journey to Chiang Mai. It's about 13 hours, so we're gonna start relaxing and just enjoy the views. <laughs> So this is the seating area and as you can see it's a pretty big seat isn't it? You can fit two people easily. I've been doing some of my work on my laptop, Amelia's been watching some films, looking out the window. Like it's such a comfortable journey and honestly it is a lot better than the bus journey because you can actually move about, go to order, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, the best way I reckon is Bangkok to Chiang Mai is via train or flight if you've got the money. Oh, you're getting a proper bed. This is so good. Do you want top or bottom? I'm going for the bottom. Is that all right? Fine. You're smaller than me. It's all right. <laughs> Look at these. They've all got curtains over there. That looks pretty cool. I might be tired in a minute. It's only 7 p.m. Should we just stay off? So it's about half 11 and it is pretty noisy because we're next to the door. So if you can choose, try not to go next to the door. Um, I'm gonna try and sleep soon because I am getting a little bit tired. This bed is actually fairly comfortable as well. So it's pretty good because they actually put a mattress down. It's not just the seats. So that is a good thing as well. I tell you what though, it is pretty cold. I don't know why in Thailand they think the higher the AC, like the posher it is, like in the more expensive malls, it is colder than the less expensive malls. That is a fact. I even read an article about it. But anyway, yeah, it is pretty cold. So I've got a jumper on and this blanket thing. So yeah, but the pillow is pretty good. I rate the pillow. It's better than some of the hotel pillows we've had. So yeah. Another thing is that there are no real plug sockets. I've seen like one in the whole carriage. So bring a portable charger if you want your phone to be fully charged. There you go. It was getting pretty cold for Amelia upstairs. And I think we're going through loads of tunnels because it is so loud. It's so loud, it's impossible to see. <laughs> So we had just got off the train. It is 4 a.m. 
quite tired. We did sleep a little bit, but honestly, it's quite loud. But I feel like a full night's sleep and you may get a decent amount of sleep. But I feel like a full night's sleep and you may get a decent amount of sleep. But we are walking to our hotel now because it's only literally a five minute walk from our from the train station. It's called At The Train Hotel, Chiang Mai. So yeah, pretty perfect. 24 hour front desk so we can check straight in, hopefully. We have checked into this really nice hotel, but we're gonna speak to you in the morning when we're a bit more awake. See you then. So it is the next day and let's talk a bit about the trains and what transport you should take from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. So obviously we took the train yesterday, but we've also taken the bus before. And honestly, the bus was actually really good. I'll insert a couple of clips because it was like super VIP, quite luxury, and it saves you having to get to the train station. Obviously you can fly from Bangkok to Chiang Mai, but maybe you'll save the environment a little bit and just get the train. Also, you'll save money as well. But we both said we highly recommend getting the train. It was so cool to just lie flat and you actually do get a good night's sleep, even if it was quite loud where we were sitting. Or lying. All of our transportation around Southeast Asia, we have been booking through bookaway.com and honestly, I highly recommend it. You literally put where you are and then where you're going and it just finds a route and gives you so many different options to go depending on your budget. So yeah, highly recommend that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and interesting taking the sleeper trains. We will see you in the next video, maybe in Thailand, maybe not. Who knows? See you then, bye.